We're fucking old now, man. 101 episodes in. 101. And you know what? My bones are cracking and creaking. And I'll tell you one thing. What's better of a way to celebrate our, our journey into 100 episodes without harvesting and displaying... Harvesting? Organs? No. The embarrassing oh. stories of our audience. Could have been a little more interesting if it was organs, <laughs> but... Uh, it sure, would have I been. I guess we could do embarrassing stories. We could do an unboxing special sometime of people just... <laughs> Fan, fan unboxing, and we literally just, <laughs> we just open up. <laughs> we just start pulling. We got a heart here. We got a heart. Here. Oh, this, this, <laughs> this could go to a child in need. Nah, let's just toss it in our not cool looking organ box. Yeah, and the bad ones will sell in the black market, and the good ones we keep for our own little play place. We'll have pleasantries with the with the organs. Oh yeah, we oh, will. Yeah. We're gonna play with them. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Episode 101 of Chuckle Sandwich. Today, We've got another speak pipe episode on the last episode of our, our speak pipe journey is where you guys send in speakpipe.com slash chuckle sandwich. You send in a little voice message, usually to a question that we've asked you at the previous episode. And on the previous episode, we asked you to send us your most embarrassing stories. Ted, I think I am getting, are you seeing this big ass bald patch in I the am. middle of my chop? Yeah, it's totally a bald patch in your chop right there. There's are a ball patch in my chop. Are you sure you just didn't slip when you were doing some grooming? I don't know. I don't know. That's that's well, it looks new. Better now. This is new. Looks better now. Yeah, you, you, yeah. I did. Put, I just kind of. You're gonna have to do some comb overs for your. Oh, it looks totally fine now. <laughs> I'll just get some anoxidil in there. Yeah, yeah. Get some, <laughs> get some veeps or whatever. Yeah. Um, but uh, what are you, what are you looking forward to mostly for uh, what, what? I mean, <sighs> life. Really, I, I have a positive outlook in general right <laughs> talking now. Talking about Ted. this episode, you fucking dumbass. Oh, I'm talking well, about the embarrassing stuff. <laughs> excuse you. I was trying to express how happy I was yeah. about the day that I find myself in. I, well, but that, I guess we don't have to talk about that. We, we, huh. we, I mean, we really could. I just didn't believe you when you said that you were excited for life. That's not oh, usually. Let me tell you. Okay. Let me tell you, Ted. I'm, I'm pulling up my phone right now. I'm using Face ID to unlock it. Oops, Snapchat was open. It is 58 degrees in Austin right now. Oh. 58, count them. That's only 5'8 right there. You know what it was yesterday? Like 95. 75 uh, still? Oh. Uh -huh. Like 80 almost? Well, 68, that's, or 58? That's pretty, that's pretty. 58 in Texas. That's pretty fucking nice, dude. It's that's nice. pretty nice. It's nice. I'm I got my hoodie on. I got my earthy vibes color, earth on in about a week i'm gonna be flying out to where tucker is and we're gonna be oh we're gonna be cuddling we're gonna be rolling around we're gonna be smacking each other in the ass it's gonna be really awesome and emma's gonna have to watch the whole time what do you think about that tucker dude i'm so hyped <laughs> <laughs> yeah so got a pretty cool thanksgiving coming up i got a couple things to be thankful for and one of them is gonna be smacking the sweet succulent <laughs> ass of tucker keen how yep. about you schlatt what do you what do you because i mean by the time this episode comes out it will be past thanksgiving um, will it yeah oh great really? you know what we used to do for thanksgiving we used to get boston market like I feel like I've seen a Boston Market before, but I don't know really what it is. You're from Massachusetts. Yeah, but like, it's not you don't really. You know what Boston Market is? Look at that. I Look mean, I've that. seen the logo. Look delicious. They've got a Boston Market in LA. Like, I'm not. I've never even heard oh. of it. Yeah, see, this is. How? The... How is that possible? Because <laughs> it's probably. You guys are from Massachusetts. I don't know if it's from Boston, man. Like, I feel like they're just but making it's... shit up. Since 1985, yeah, this isn't a tried and true thing. This has only been around for 40 years. Dude, we get Boston Market caught like mac and cheese and mashed potatoes, all the sides for Thanksgiving. We just oh, they got one in Chelmsford. We, we just went to Boston Market, and you Birmingham, know, it Fitchburg. was fucking delicious. The mac and cheese is really thick. It's really cheesy. It's a good time. 
and it took all the pressure off of making these dumbass side dishes no one really cared about. You have you put all the effort into the bird. The rotisserie nuggets look actually pretty damn good, and they are pretty frequently around Boston. It seems like it's a, but this isn't like this isn't like a Massachusetts staple. I mean, sure they got one in Waltham and Chelmsford and all over the fucking place, but I don't know. Tucker and I haven't heard of this, and we grew up there. I'll tell you one place we've heard of McDonald's. We've yeah, heard of McDonald's, okay. man. <laughs> yep. I think everyone that we've everyone heard of me. that's you want to hear a Boston that. staple McDonald's. I think, I think especially from our hometown is, where I, you couldn't I have think, a fucking drive through. You had to fucking walk I, into I, the fucking I restaurant. Think a, a, a starving malnourished person in Pyongyang has heard of. Don't McDonald's. talk to me about Pyongyang. You don't know the first she, thing oh, about come Pyongyang. On, man. You don't. Uh, you don't think I know the first thing about Pyongyang? The capital city of North Korea. Show me a photo of you hanging out in Pyongyang. I've never been to Pyongyang. Well, maybe Why you should I go there. Maybe you should. Why would I go? Maybe. Why would I go there? Maybe you should go to. Why P- would I go there, Ted? Uh, to check That's it like out. You telling your stories about playing basketball in China. Go back there, see what happens. You want to know? You want to go wanna, back to China? You want to know a, a fucking place I've heard about in in China? What Burger King? I had the best Whopper I've ever had in China. Dude. Dude, Come on. they don't have that there. They do, they do. At least they in don't the airports. Have Burger King. No, no, no. Let's listen to these embarrassing stories. Man, you're How the one who that? started talking about your chops at the beginning. Okay, I was getting ready. I was, I was lining that up. My chops. We moved off that subject. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys said send us your embarrassing stories. We're gonna be talking about you. We're gonna be making fun of you. Uh, we sent. I mean, I've got. I feel like I. I've. Developed. Do I need to enroll okay. you in speech therapy? Do I need to enroll you in a fucking wood chipper? Do I need to roll you into a big ball? Do I need a, a big snowball? Do I need roll a, you down a hill? Do I need to roll you into a fucking uh, I don't know metal metallurging factory where you they fucking the hot metal comes out of those things, and hot tubes of metal come out and they hit workers and they die. Do I need to do I need to roll you into a live leak video? Do I need to take you on? State Road 186 and toll you? That was so specific. What do you mean? Bitch, txtag.org, baby. I owe ten thousand dollars to the government of Texas. Still? You didn't fix yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we've been through the, this feels familiar to me. It happened again? Two times? Oh, it just was never paid. Oh. Like, I never paid it. Oh, okay. That's fair. That was like episode five. That's a callback right there. That is a callback. Yeah. But um whatever the case. We sent Tucker, our little cherub, off onto the speak pipe. He scrolled, he scrolled. He probably scrolled with his wife. They probably did it together while sipping on we some did. soup. Uh, okay, let's get into it. <laughs> Here's Molly. Hey, Ted. Hey, Shlom. Hey, Ducker. Shlom and Ducker? Shlom and Ducker? I think, that, oh. I think she said my name correctly, she and, then, did, the, and, she the, did. and then she fucked up the next two following names. Fucking A. Okay, yeah, well... Gonna... Restart again. Okay, well, okay. Go through it. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ted. Hey, Shalom. Hey, Ducker. My name's Molly. I'm actually from Ted and Tucker's neck of the woods. I'm from Groton, Mass. Cool. Uh, I go to the Staples. You worked at and in all the time and eat at the same subway, all that shit. Oh, nice. Uh, anyways, I have a really Depressing short, locations. embarrassing story. I went to New York City for the first time about six years ago to visit a friend. We were traveling all over the place, and I saw the Brooklyn Bridge while we were on the subway. Uh, my friend said, oh, you want to go to the Brooklyn Bridge? And uh, when I asked, what's on the other side of that bridge? Like three people oh, on yeah. the subway started laughing at me before my friend told me that Brooklyn was on the other side. How the yeah. fuck oh, was I no. supposed to know that? Oh, That's no. kind of it. I don't really embarrass myself that often. But, oh, uh, no. Also, PSA, <laughs> never go to the Applebee's at Coney Island. Not only is Coney Island the worst place on earth, that Applebee's is fucking terrible. I think she, I think she crossed the Brooklyn Bridge, dude. That's in, that is embarrassing because it's I, very I, embarrassing. I, honestly, if it was just to her friend and they were just like in a car or something dra- traveling over the Brooklyn Bridge, maybe it would have been a little bit less embarrassing. But the fact that there were like several New Yorkers there that could laugh at her, that would have taken me down a couple notches for sure. Ouch! Oh yeah. Ouch! As yeah. the as the New Yorker, Schlatt, what do you? How do you? How do you? What do you think of this shit? Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, it's in the name. It's in the name. You're a fucking idiot. You dumbass. 
I guess it's just it just runs in the family. Anyone who's up there, where you guys are from, you just not nah, got a couple. Oh, screws okay. Loose, well, you know? now hold on. Got a couple screws. No, loose, hold on, hold on. Know? Just feels like hold every on. single one of you is. I don't claim this this person from Massachusetts. I do she not claim you. No, she well, claimed you. She, she can try. She hangs out at your subway she, at your Staples. She probably fucking yeah, looks at all the documents trying to find records of you. <laughs> we don't hang out around there or work there for a very good reason. That is the place where souls go to die. Okay, you go there and it's it's like it's like you you walk in there and it's like walking in a poison zone. You're walking in a yeah. in, like I'm in Fallout and I'm sorry. Blue hearing zone the, from Fortnite. <laughs> the blue zone from Fortnite. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. In the eye of the storm. Uh, it's exactly. Been why did that. you get so excited when you Been said that? Been playing that. <laughs> okay. Been playing that. Okay, Ted. Ted. What? Ted, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're pulling hold it up on, on your on, phone hold on, or hold something? On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Nice. Victory Royale. Very good. Last night, baby. You last a, night. You took a picture of last it on your night. phone? You didn't, of course I did. Why didn't you take a screenshot with your computer? <laughs> huh? Why didn't you take a screenshot with your computer? I don't know. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, we don't claim that person, though. It's like you walk into the rad zone and fucking fall out. It's bad, dude. It's not good. Um, yeah, that's a silly fuck up. That's a silly fuck up. Uh, Molly, if you're ever uh, taking the subway up to Lexington Avenue and 53rd Street, run, because I'll be there. With a gun. And I'm going to fucking chase you. <laughs> you're going to chase you and say, run, 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 that's, run. That's... <laughs> 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 that would be awful. That fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's my subway station. That one. Okay, cool. Um, I live there. Tucker, what's it, what, what, do we, what do we got for the next embarrassing story? Jackson, this one might be the, the one question, uh, or it might it might be the next one. One of these oh, early okay. ones is a question that I thought was funny that okay. we just found. Uh, but here we go. Here's it is. Jackson. It is marked funny question on the uh... that. Yeah. Okay. Then this is the one. <laughs> okay. Hello, Ted. Hello, Shalat. Schlag. Thank Hello, you. Schlunk. Fuck you, um, man. And chucklers, maybe. Hopefully. <sighs> um, Had me in the beginning. So, I d I'm not answering the question, but I just want clarification on something. Um, okay. What do you guys do during the um, intro song? Because in my head, it's just like I see <laughs> you guys just sitting there, like dancing along, singing as it plays out, and then and then you sit back in your chairs and you're like, okay, the video starting, and then you start talking again. But yeah, just something I thought of. Bye. You're going to be really depressed when you hear this answer. Um, but the truth of the matter is, is that that time that the intro is playing does not exist. We never hear the song when we record these episodes. I'm sorry to say this, but we will record our cold open. We will say, welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. And then we will continue the conversation. That is fake time that passes that uh, we cease to exist. Um, but if you want the answer that you were looking for, I'm going like this. I'm going like and this I a little bit. Pause. And I then just Schlatt, pause. No, I'll tell you what Schlatt's dance is doing. He's going like this. I'm not doing that. I don't He's going do like that. this a little bit. That's not my dance. Is that Thriller from Michael Jackson? Or no, he's actually Tugger. He's going like this. He's going, uh. <laughs> Why would I be doing, what is that? <laughs> He's That's doing crazy. the. He's doing uh one of the. He's one doing one of the PUBG dances. Oh, Fair. we've been thinking Which about actually, learning one. Actually, you know what? That leads me to say something before we before we move on to the next thing is that we got him in. Tucker and I got him in. We got Schlatt to play PUBG with us, and it was excellent, dude. And I was good. I was good. Wasn't you, I? Yeah, I mean Schlatt was. I would. You know. I was saying, you know, I had said to you, Shalai, that you might have been a B or A tier revive on that, on that, because uh, we have tiers of revive, how valuable someone is if they go down. We're really toxic friends. <laughs> um, but after playing with several other people since then, I would probably classify Shalai as at least an A tier revive. 
uh, yeah. because we have not been playing with very talented individuals <laughs> lately. Uh, but Ever? you know, sorry, Trev, but you know, it's 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 a shame. It's a shame to see it. It's a shame to see it's it. Shame. <laughs> I'll start charging you guys hourly for my time. That no, you if won't you really want if you want me that bad. No, you know? no, no, no. We, we want don't. me that bad. In you want you to revive? You got to pay for it. We not 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 in our Discord. We don't charge for friendship there that's not how it family works family guy had a funny moment in one of their episodes of the show where stewie and brian go back in time to an episode where it's like the crudely drawn seasons you know you know like the first four seasons of family guy looks yeah. scuffed as fuck yeah they went back to an episode from one of those early seasons of family guy and they looked in the window of the house that peter lives in and they were looking at a scene that had played in a previous episode that's cool. That's that's cool. But the callbacks, this is what I'm getting to. The callbacks, right when they right when Peter was like, eh, that reminds me of when I when I when I fucked Lois. And then they all paused. That's creepy. <laughs> that's creepy. And then once the cutscene had stopped playing, the they kept going. Like it was really it was really uh Really cool, actually. Yeah, Damn. and it just reminded me of that because, like, what if, what if, <laughs> what if Ted just goes, "Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich." I wouldn't make that face, so I would go like this. I'll go, "Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich," and then I'd go. And then we'd be, and then we'd be in the episode. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, so th there's the answer to your fucking question. What was his name? What was his fucking Jackson. Name? Jackson? Okay, there's your answer, Jackson. Give me the next one, Tucker. Give me the next one. Calum. Calum? Ew. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that was mean, actually. Hey, Ted and schlong and other... i don't feel bad what anymore what the fuck did i do to I'd deserve my this my most embarrassing moment was probably when i went to the pool with one of my friends when i was about 10 or something and uh had what i thought was a great idea for a prank where i'd uh, swim up underneath him and poke him in the arsehole so oh, he's uh, Scottish? I, I did and uh when i surfaced to see his reaction turns out it was a different kid with the same swimming trunks so didn't go to the pool for a while after that wait what just happened yeah, I was. I don't know. I, It'd be easier to hear him if he didn't have a stupid fucking accent. Maybe yeah. that's the most embarrassing thing yeah, about him. Sounds like he's gargling balls. Can you play that one more time? Sure. Well, he did gargle balls in this story. Let me tell you. I don't want to hear the accent again. I don't want to hear him speak. Yeah, tell I'll me. I'll tell you what happened. He was doing this fun thing where he <laughs> so unnecessarily he, mean to this Calum guy. He was doing this fun thing where in the pool with his buddy, he stuck his finger up his ass. And uh, he came up after doing it, and it was some other kid in the same. I gotta say, thing, so. no matter what age I am, and no matter where I live in my life or where I exist, I'm never sticking my finger up in my friend's ass. Sorry, yeah, that's, I'm not doing it. Yeah, that was the first mistake, I think. Yeah, I ain't doing that shit. No. Doesn't seem very. Doesn't seem very funny. I know a nice ass smack. That's pretty funny. That's ass pretty pats funny. Are, ass pats are normal and natural. Yeah, tickling their and prostate, beautiful. maybe not so much. No, that's a different... I'd say that's a different tier. It's a different tier of, of prank. It seems like the kind of prank it's like, hey, maybe we... maybe we, You know, this 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 is, this is a little so yeah. much. Yeah, prostate orgasms are <laughs> definitely... I mean, they're... <laughs> you can't be trying to give your friend a prostate orgasm in the pool. Okay, you can't be going and doing that. Those are great pranks, dude. <laughs> I love when... <laughs> love it when a guy Michael comes boys. up behind me and gives me a prostate orgasm. Yeah, no, that's that's yeah, sort of one of my, my boys do that to me. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Okay, next one and next fucking thing. All right, the next one's coming from Sig Daddy. Here we go. Sig Daddy. Hey, Slurk and Tud. Hey, uh, I, got, I got some that time. Sig Daddy. Just wanted to explain Ugh. and share an embarrassing Ugh. moment in my life. This guy sound, kind of sounds um, like uh, courage. When I was about 17, I was uh, seriously dating a girl in high school. and No, you weren't. Sure enough, I uh, you know, was at the point in my life where we were both ready to lose our virginities. 
Well, uh, back in the mid 2010s, uh, cell phones were uh, full of buttons and you could easily butt dial people. So as I was oh, no. losing my virginity in the back of my uh, 04 RAV4, <laughs> um, I accidentally butt dialed my mother. No! Seven and a half minute voicemail of uh, all of the unsavory parts of uh, oh my no! fucking god no no dude uh, with that being said i hope you enjoyed my uh embarrassing story and uh i'm gonna go wrap my car around a fucking pole thank you <laughs> <laughs> damn sig daddy you're winning thus far with the embarrassing stories that sucks Holy oh shit. man i wonder how long the mom listened to it no, it was a voicemail. So you had, yeah. I, I imagine the next, that once he realized, dude, once he hit end call on that phone, probably the fucking Samsung Intensity 2 with the slide out keyboard. Oh, dude, he probably booked it home. It was like a, it was probably like a scene out of fucking John Wick, him trying to yeah. get to that phone and delete the Yeah, delete no, he's probably message. drifting around corners in the streets. Yeah. Oh, God, dude. Mom, get that off your phone! What a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, how do you even? Because hey, if because if 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 I you know I don't know how would that conversation with the mom even go down? Like, mom, delete that voicemail off your phone. Why? What's on it? What's on it? Well, mom, let me just I listen got, to it. I got hacked. I got, I got hacked. You don't want to <laughs> listen to that. It'll give a. It'll put a virus on your flip phone. <laughs> and then at the same virus. and at the same time, he's listening to the, on the voicemail. He's like, "Yeah, my name is Sig Daddy, and I live at this address, and I'm fucking you right now." Full name. Fucking A. Wow, that's a good one. See, this is what we're looking for, Chucklers. We're looking for shit like this. That sucks. Oh yeah, man. That's the winner. That's the winner currently. Yeah, that's, that's the, the current winner. winner. It's at the that's an S tier embarrassing story. Yeah. You want the next one? Oh yeah. Alright, here's Joe. Hey Ten Slat. Hope you're doing well. See? The story I have for you takes place nice. on my way to school many years ago. So basically what is this, I tiny was going to school on my scooter and I was going pretty fast. And I was very young, so I was not aware one bit. So I'm going down this street, and it's got a lot of obstacles. Now, I swerve out of the way of this bin, and then I go full throttle straight into a lamppost. There were, there were so many people around, and it, it just kind of it ruined me. <laughs> Absolutely ruined me. So he just ate shit. He ate shit on a scooter. He hit a, he hit a trash can. Yeah. In, over in the UK, for audio listeners, love you to death and video watchers, bin. you're okay. Bin. They're calling them, it's a trash can, they call them bins. Bin. Um, just so in case there was some sort of something lost in translation there. He ate shit. He fucking embarrassed himself. How old was he when he did this? Did it, Did he say he was like a little I don't child? Know. I mean, he said he was younger than he is currently, so maybe like maybe four. anywhere from four to six. Four to yeah. six years old, because he sounds like yeah. he's like maybe eight or nine. Dude, don't don't play Call of Duty. You're gonna get it. You, you're gonna get bullied yeah, pretty bad you're gonna, on that game. People yeah, are gonna hurt your gonna feelings pretty bad. Sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry, man. Sorry about sorry. that. But you know, uh, that's yeah. pretty I funny, mean, I, dude. Everyone, everyone has that one or two moments where you, you know, like you take a fall or a tumble, and you you have to try and play it off. But you're in a lot of pain. Uh, that happened to me most recently with you guys a couple weeks ago when I bludgeoned myself on the rocks. Um, what? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 That was, was like, really, uh... yeah. That was an embarrassing moment uh, for me. And that I wasn't that embarrassing. It just, the you cameras just were on too. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like that was my first time running in a while, and I, How long? I just for I fucking months probably. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't run. Oh, do you, what? When do you run? At the gym. Oh. Um, I got a bike now too. Oh, cool! What kind of bike? It's a freaking specialized mountain bike. Nice. Yeah, I had a lot of bunch of freaking additions to it too. I got a freaking uh, seat as well. I got a freaking phone bike holder, has a seat. and I have cool. a freaking little bag that I put on the middle of it that I can hold my AirPod case and my wallet and my keys. Yeah. Is the chuckle? We posted the first Austin episode. The Chuckle fans immediately comment within 10 minutes. Man, did Ted gain weight? 
Ted's looking a little heavier this one. <laughs> and then Ted's reading this to me. He's like, man, I really, I mean, the ankles are bad. And yeah. Three days later, Ted's like, hey, dude, I got a bike. I got a bike to the gym today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, this is something, this, this bike thing has been something I've been considering for a while, but you know, maybe it did push, may or may not have pushed me over the edge where I was like, people are like, people are saying I'm getting fat now. I gotta get a bike. So I did, I did. I rolled up to, uh, I went to probably the spookiest bike shop in all of LA. Um, it was like, <laughs> it was like, I walked in, it's like a tile floor you'd see in like a kitchen in an apartment, like from like 1985. There's like two guys in there. They seem genuinely surprised that I've walked into this business. So I'm like confused. I'm like, is this just like a fucking, it's just like a, like a, uh, what's that thing that you take a you t you take like wagons to in Red Dead Redemption when you're get getting rid of something that's like a shed or something? Um, oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's like it, it. It seemed like it was a place where they just break down stolen bikes and they sell them off for the highest bidder. So I don't even know if the bike I got was like, you know, theirs. But it's like one old guy who is like smoking a cigarette and he's wearing like he's wearing like a, a, a like a fucking Adidas one piece. Um, and then the other guy is like, yeah, I buy, I buy the bike off him and I'm, I, I'm like, what about that one? He looks at the wall and he just gives me like a random price. I'm like, okay. I, I like looked it up, looked up how the bike is much as the bike is worth on my phone. I got it like half off. So I'd say it was pretty good. It was a pretty good, a pretty good time. Nice. Now I ride right. that bike all around LA. There you go. Here is one ball Joey. Hello there. Swanathan, Theodore nope. Cockenball, okay. and Grucker. Grucker? <laughs> My most embarrassing story was when I was in freshman year of high school and I had testicular torsion after oh. gym class. Oh, no. Oh, I was in math fuck. class because that was after my oh. gym class and uh, I just my, my balls just started to really fucking hurt. Oh. My right nut was swollen. And uh, I went to the nurse's office. Uh, I didn't even talked to my teacher. I kind of just left the class and they got pissed. And I, uh, I went to the nurse's office. Uh, nurse looked at my, my testicles. Oh, boy. Saw the one that was swollen and then gave me a fucking ice pack. And, um... For the... I left my bag in the room and for some reason I just didn't remember the room name, so I had to point them in the direction of what room it was in. And they wheeled me off in a fucking wheelchair with an ice pack on my crotch. And I had people coming up to me like, what just happened? You were fine like a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no. And then I, uh, uh. you know, went to the hospital. Uh, I still have both my testicles, but no one believed me. I was uh, one ball <laughs> Joey for a while. Wow. And, uh, yeah, that's my most embarrassing story. So people thought that he lost his testicle and they were calling him one ball Joey. <laughs> that sucks. It's not even an alliteration. It's not even like a funny, like creative name. It's just like, yeah. just putting one ball in front of his name. <laughs> that sucks. Oh that man. Sucks. I'm so glad that I haven't dealt with testicular torsion because I don't yeah, know I don't... if I would have been able to handle the pain there. Tucker, you ever gotten testicular torsion? Nope. No, Does but anyone I, here know anyone who's gotten it personally? I havenven't heard no. of anyone getting that. No. No. Other than they one say, ball, Joey. Uh, they say Hitler had one ball. I thought that was uh, Neil Armstrong. No. No, yeah. it wasn't. No, Napoleon? No, the the biker. I think Napoleon and Hitler both had one ball. No, Lance the Armstrong. biker. Lance Armstrong? Is that the biker? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that those three guys all had one. That's good company for Lance. Let, let's move on to the next one. And right, the next one's coming from Ginny. Like the Ginny? Harry Potter girl. Okay. Okay, my most embarrassing story, or one of. In like 2018, for the SEC championship game, my brother, my dad, and I went and it's at Mercedes Benz and. I don't know, it wasn't a tailgate, but whatever it was, they had, like, a bunch of, like, broadcasts and, like, all these activities you can do before the game, and one of them was a 40-yard dash, so, of course, I'm gonna race my brother and beat him, but, um, 
we get to the thing and it's like a whole crowd of people and like a whole line you have to wait in to do it so we get up there and we start running and we get like 20 yards in and, and we're like neck and neck so I'm gonna I'm gonna beat him but then my legs like completely gave out and I completely face planted into the oh, ground. Oh no. And that wasn't even the worst part is like I was on the ground and I'm like trying to get up and they didn't notice that I had already f- that I had fallen. <laughs> they let the next two people go. And the oh. person in my lane practically ran me over and yeah, there was a whole wow. crowd watching, so that was wonderful. Oh. Trampled. It sounds like this person did something wrong in a past life. Sounds like this Ginny deserved this. There was something. Yeah. There's some that, sort of that, guilt in their voice where it was like they killed an animal or something, like a small animal before this. Or that sounds like karma to me. Yeah. Sounds like you deserve yeah. that, Ginny. You. You. I relate though. I relate to running as fast as I can, and, and then, then my legs, legs giving, giving out. out. Yeah. That's that couple, that few seconds, Ginny, of oh shit, I'm about to eat shit, and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> You know, that's, that's really, I, I empathize. I mean, it's, I empathize it is with scary that. when you get Tucker sicked on you like that. I was terrified. You know, I, it was I like, was. we, you know, I, who knows if that video is out at this point when this, probably not when this podcast comes probably out. Not. Definitely but, not. But I, at the end of one of the specials we did, I, I, I sick Tucker on Schlatt. I said, get him. I said, get him. And then Tucker started sprinting at Schlatt, and I think that Schlatt was utterly unprepared for how fast Tucker was going to be. Um, Yeah. Well, I looked back, because I thought, oh, I can outrun this guy, no problem. Even though I've never, I haven't probably ran in 2023. (laughs) Yeah. So, I was running, and I got a good distance away, and then I was like, okay, I can probably slow down. I look back, and he's right there, (laughs) like, gaming on me. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, And then I think it was that realization. (laughs) It threw me off, man. And like you know, perk. Tucker, Tucker's got those fucking predator eyes. Yeah. You know, like they just look straight forward. Yeah, there's no like his his face is just completely forward at all times, just yeah. looking straight ahead. <laughs> Tucker, look at the camera, kind of like how you were running at Schlatt. dude. Like I don't know what I was doing. Yeah, you were probably like this. I was- it was probably like an innate behavior. Can't yeah, no, it, it definitely wasn't an innate behavior. You definitely enter into a state of being when, when you get physical like that. So you, Tucker doesn't usually start sprinting out of no. Actually, no. There's been several times I think that I've it's gotten a, Tucker actually to, kind oh. of a reoccurring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it actually is kind of a reoccurring thing where I can be like Tucker, go get, him. and I'd see him run. You're like my, yeah. uh, I'm like your dog. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you are. You're like my, you're my attack dog. Yeah. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, well, Jenny, everyone was looking at you, and it was, <laughs> I mean, we were all laughing. Yeah, but at least they happened. didn't get it on video. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. Schlein's <laughs> got a bunch of cuts on his hand. He's screaming. He's screaming. I have scars. There's scars. There's scars on my hand now. I'm no. going to remember it forever. Those are, that'll just, that'll clear oh up. God. Give it a month. Nope. That'll clear nah, up. Nah, you I'm going to remember me? it forever. Oh, my goodness. And scars. <laughs> <laughs> um all right well what's the what's the next one <laughs> okay we're gonna go with luke here hi schlitt and flat uh i'd say the most no. embarrassing no. moment of my life it was probably in fifth grade uh i go to like a hundred student uh school wow that's not very big at all and we were all required to be a part of this school play oh no and in this play i played this character who said just the word cake for probably 95 percent of the play and then towards the end, I was supposed to go on this huge monologue. I don't even remember uh, what it was about. So the play's going on. I'm saying cake like an idiot in front of probably around 300 parents. Uh, and then when I'm about to go on my huge monologue, I just forget every single one of my lines. And I'm standing there on the stage looking at my music teacher. And I'm going like, oh. And I don't even remember what I did. Because it was so long ago. Uh, yeah, you just cut it out of your mind. Yeah, that was probably the most embarrassing moment of my life. Jeez. Yeah, just being up there and saying, yeah, I wonder. I don't know if I, I did a little bit of theater myself. I don't know if I've ever fucking fucked up as bad as you did, Luke. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's rough. You dumbass. That's rough. You forgot your forgot line? all of them. You're saying cake the whole time and all you had to do was remember a line? Fuck. 
Should have just kept saying cake. Yeah, he should. You know? He should have just said cake, and then there would have been a rousing applause. It would have been like a. Yeah. Would have been a, like. Would have been a, like canes. Yeah. It would have been a twenty minute I mean, applause. Dude, if I was in Luke's position, I would have turned that into an awesome moment. And oh yeah. He just he just didn't deliver. You know? What would you have done if it would if this? Was I would have kept saying cake. You just over and over like that that you would have like, started idea, rapping yeah. it. Like, yeah. 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 Okay. I probably saying. would have said I thought he was going to say that he just said cake and then like people would have been just like uh huh and if it was the, that would be funny if it was like he's the guy who ends the play and then it's just and then it's like there's there's like no resolution it's just like him just like <laughs> standing up there awkwardly just like watching as it all unfolds I wonder how long they would have stood there for seems like he's knocked it out of his brain though with the, yeah it's good it's good that that happened you know that's that's something you don't want trailing you your whole life you know yeah unless someone remind well he seems, remembers it a little bit and now it's immortalized in a podcast people are always true. gonna remember true luke little everyone cake, knows little no monologue cake luke that's and what they'll ball call joey. and one ball joey exactly um all right that wasn't that bad though luke you're okay here comes uh Julie. Julio. Julio. Hey Ted. Hey Schlatt. Hey Tucker. Hello audio listeners and audio listeners only. So I believe the last question was about embarrassing stories and this is probably not the most embarrassing story that's going to come up but it's what I think about a lot and it's when I used to go to Just college and I would walk to class and it was about a 10 minute walk and I would pass by like a busy like street some dorms and of course you know other students so it was a nice spring day in north carolina it wasn't humid for once and i was just enjoying myself just listening to my music when i got to the student union i caught a reflection of myself in the in the window turns out my dress got caught in my fucking underwear and my whole ass was out and no one told me and i'm kind of disappointed because i you know if i saw someone in that situation i would have you know waved at them and said excuse me your whole butt is out and if they said it was intentional i'll just say oh word um respectfully that thing be hanging you got a nice fucking ass you you squat or something and then go about my day it's not that hard but you know what it's whatever um people got shit to do i guess so like the dress got caught in the underwear how did that how does that work so it's just like they were just walking around with their their dress up and they didn't notice they didn't feel the breeze didn't feel the breeze yeah that's what i was gonna i was gonna say because when i walk around butt-ass naked i mean you feel it you feel it everywhere yeah in your your crack in your gooch in the uncanny valley (laughs) on your prostate you know that seam that runs from your asshole all the way through the gooch to the Ah, shaft of the penis on the walls the grundle you feel it there you feel it there a nice tickle Mm. Just saying. I would have realized. Yeah. I, you know, that sucks. That sucks. She walked across all the campus with her ass out. I would say that's pretty high up there in terms of embarrassing stuff. Although there is a bit of a, a bit of, of joy, maybe even solace in not knowing who saw the ass out though. Maybe it's no one, but on the other side of it, maybe it's everyone. Maybe it got caught up. It was on. everyone. Maybe it, maybe it was it, everyone. This was, did they say this was in college? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So maybe maybe it got caught on one because a lot of campuses have those like live streams of the campus going oh God, off. They going do? On. Yeah. Some, some, some colleges have like, oh, here's a live stream of like the campus of the students walking to and from class oh, or whatever. Um, maybe, the, maybe they got caught on a live stream of them walking across the square and, the, and everyone's just looking at them as they walk by. That would be funny. That would be horrifying, actually. But it would be funny in a horrifying way. It's true. Yeah. It's like our, our our political system, <laughs> you know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Well, Julio, sorry that happened to you. Peace be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. All right. We lift them up to the Lord. Here comes William. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Dude, I don't fucking know the the the. It rap. is right and just. It is truly right and just. 
Are you finished? Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, okay William Holden. Um, all right. Hello, Ted Bundy and Jesus. <laughs> so my embarrassing story. Okay, that one was uh, funny. Actually happened Ted Bundy recently, a couple weeks. Jesus. <laughs> Bless you. What are you doing? Sneezing on it. Bless you. <laughs> What's um, happening? When, Bless you. <laughs> okay. Um. So my embarrassing story <laughs> is. Um, He's fucking. We got Jeremy from iCarly. A couple weeks ago, my school. I'm on student council. We had a cornhole tournament. <laughs> so I was working the board for the bracket, and there was there was a team called Bussy Bus. And um, over the intercom, over, over the microphone, to everyone, I pronounced it Bussy Bus. <laughs> uh, and um, <laughs> I, it's been weeks, and I. It is still brought up. <laughs> dude, this is like, oh, what is that, what the fuck is up with this kid? He was like <laughs> he didn't he didn't record it a second time. Like he sneezed oh. like four times at the beginning of that. He sounds like he's fucking bedridden right now. Saying oh, bussy man. bus. Oh fuck. That's, that's pretty funny. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I don't know like they definitely the people who made that group name definitely meant for it to be pronounced that way. There's no way that they didn't. I don't know. You can't tell know. me that "bussy" as a as a word exists and these kids. It sounds like high school. It sounds it sounds like these kids put on. Yeah. Like there's no way they weren't writing "bussy" because they knew that the teachers wouldn't know the the word. "Bussy" is more culturally relevant than "bussy." Yeah. Currently, yeah. What does bussy mean? I think mean? it will be. I think it'll only get more culturally relevant soon mm. after I'm done with it. But that's funny. That's a funny thing. That yeah, happened. it is a pretty funny thing. PA, you yeah. Know? I mean, you can embrace that and turn it into like, oh, that's a cool, like, yeah, I'd, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm into that, like. You know, maybe, and I hope they won. To be honest, I hope they won big time. There we go. I, I, you know, they probably did. They probably did. Um, what else do we got here, Tucker? And how how many more do you say we have? We, we've got two more on the schedule. Okay, okay. Let's um, see what we got. Here comes Mallory. My most embarrassing moment was it was eighth grade, and me and my friend went to the mall with a group of boys that we liked and we were um you know middle school we went to the mall anyway so we were walking around and i go to the bathroom so we started walking down the stairs to go to the bathroom but i was like oh my gosh i can go down these stairs so quick i'm so cool and so i like rushed down the stairs like trying to be cool and like skip steps and i fell flat on my face like, I fully tripped and, like, missed the bottom three steps and just, like, like just on my face. And yeah. it was super embarrassing. And I think about it way too often, considering it's been, like, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 1, 2, 3, 4, but, like, over a decade. <laughs> Someone's having trouble long. counting. Oh, fuck. It's <laughs> <Just, laughs> like having a... <laughs> Starting to some, starting to short circuit there a little bit. <laughs> well, Mallory, uh, sorry, sorry, yeah, Mallory. I I ate shit recently too, and it's not fun. You know, let me tell you. A lot of these people are falling on their faces. It seems like yeah, not a lot of I mean, stable they, listeners to the Chuckle Sandwich no, podcast. It appears. No, I figured most of our listeners would have poor bone composition. <laughs> uh, why? Why? Hold on. At least a good amount should be milkman fans and should be drinking their milk. Well, I mean, I feel like most people these days are pussies and they don't like milk. Or bussies. I drink my bussies. Bussy bus. Look, I mean, the, the, the bright side is that I guarantee you no one you were there with ever thinks about that. Uh, or even remembers that it happened. Or even so, remembers you. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're probably not a thought in most people's minds. Yeah. Mallory. Mallory. Um, so there's there's a there's a, a fun way of you're, looking at you're things. gonna fade into nothingness, Mallory. Yeah. You're yeah, you are um you your second death. Then. Will that come was your real peak. Quick. How does it feel that, that was your peak, Mallory? That was your peak moment that people will know about you. 
your voice will probably live on longer than anything else you do in this episode. <laughs> hey, Tucker, Let's say something that mean. Way. Say something. Oh, no, you guys are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's so mean. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, Mallory's a nice girl. Okay? <laughs> yeah, She's... no, Mallory sounded really sweet. I don't know why we're doing this to them. Yeah, no, that's it. Is kind of mean. Yeah. You know. All right, here we yeah. go. We're kidding, Let's Mallory. Leo. We're kidding. Uh, audio listener, love you kidding. to death. Of course, yeah, I was kidding. actually kidding. Uh, actually, I was freaking kidding, Mallory. All right, here's Leo. Hey, Schluckle and Tat. Oh, Sh um, oh my God. I'd like to tell you a story about uh, when. Well, you'll see. So what? <laughs> this one time, I um was was driving with my boyfriend. I was dropping him back off at his house after a a, a gathering of uh, souls, and um, okay, okay, that's one way. To I was do, I was too to socially out, anxious it. to um, you know, ask him to use his restroom, which is wow. really just, just such a. I like the way that they said that. And I, I really, really had to pee. So instead of getting out of my car and Don't tell peeing you pulled an on the side of the road or, like, you know, asking him to piss in his house, I, uh... You didn't pee your pants, did you? I sat in my car and pissed myself in my car. Turn this off and now. I, I cleaned it up very thoroughly. Turn this but, uh, off there's, now. There's no, no, don't, don't, no, no, no. So that's that's the story of when I pissed myself in holy, my car. Holy, holy shit! Thanks, thanks for listening, Schluck. Holy Tad. shit! You sat in your car and you pissed yourself because of the <sighs> anxiety of asking to use Fuck. the bathroom. Fuck me! Oh no! Wow. Yeah. Hey, you know. Sure. There's always a bright side. Is there side. any? Is there anything you can say to make <laughs> that situation better? Not many things, but it sounds like they cleaned it up very well. They weren't seeing anyone after. It sounds like it sounds like they were leaving somewhere. Oh hell! They were leaving somewhere, so they're not going to see anyone again. Yeah, dropping off the boyfriend. You drop it off so the, boyfriend. the boyfriend. Didn't see it. The boyfriend didn't see it. Yeah, maybe not that bad. I suppose. I mean, no. No, don't we, don't lie. I'm, don't lie. I'm trying not don't to. Don't lie. I'm tr this person pissed their pants. <laughs> okay. Because they did. That's okay. It's all right. Yeah, I suppose there's some scenarios that could have gone real bad. Like if you pissed yourself and you're just reeking of 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 piss, and yeah. like um, you get pulled over by a cop, and the cop rolls up the roll down the window, and it's just this. Piss person. Piss. P piss person. <laughs> this piss person sitting there saying oh, whatever is the shit. whatever could be the problem, officer. Yeah, dude, that's that's one of the things where if yeah, that happened to me, if I did that, that's something I'm taking to the grave. Yeah. You know, that's not something I'd ever share. Especially it's not, not that on bad. this podcast. It's not no. that bad. I don't well, honestly think everyone's everyone's had Tucker. Is that is it not that bad? I mean, surely everyone's pissed the bed at least once. I never voluntary. That the, the <laughs> difference is that it's this was voluntary. Tucker, what do you think? Is this that that bad, or is this this? Surely you put this um, at the end because it was the worst in your opinion. No, the order was not uh, was not indicative of anything. Okay. Um, it depends how they. I think the act is embarrassing but it's how they went about it if they were like listen i was just too anxious and they were honest they're probably less embarrassing but if they like yeah they did say that they up, were too anxious <laughs> oh but, like, but like did somebody... they say that to the boyfriend well does the boyfriend need to know after the fact like he she just dropped him off no. and she's on the road she oh, does he need to yeah. know boyfriend didn't oh, know boyfriend i was thinking didn't know oh then well can something be embarrassing if no one is there to witness it well, we're we're witnessing it right now. Yeah. Which is why I'm saying that's something I'd take to the grave. Sounds like there was a this is this is kind of the scenario where if like if a tree falls in the forest, does it make a yeah. sound? But turns exactly. out we had a trail cam on and the trail cam is the speak <laughs> pipe for chocolate yeah. sandwich. <laughs> I don't think yeah, that's we that all bad. know about it now, Leo. We <laughs> all know. But now we need we to We know what you did. 
but now we need to we need to level things out and i i have Shalat, do you have an I, embarrassing story yeah, that i you're... have one in recent memory yeah oh really are we just yeah. going to talk about what happened when no, you tripped no, or no not the fall not oh, okay. the fall it's something else you, like I mean, you want me to talk about the fall again no 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 we've already talked about the fall okay okay would you like me to go first if you'd like if you seem like you're sure. pretty raring yeah. to go i'll uh i'll share my embarrassing story for all you chucklers uh i have many cars and sometimes cars get dirty and you need someone to clean them because you're too rich to do it yourself this so embarrassing story is coming with a lot of hype ups so i had a team of people come to my house to detail not just clean detail detail all my vehicles uh a white glove service and uh you know they they asked they were done with the mercedes and they said hey can you take this car one of your cars uh because there's no more room in the driveway can you move this car out and then bring the other one in and I said, sure. So I moved the Mercedes. And these guys are just standing there waiting for me to pull the other car in. Uh, what I completely forgot about, missed my mind, uh, is that the car they were asking me to move in had never been up the driveway because it was unable to go up the driveway. Oh, it no. was too low. It was too low. Oh, to no. Yeah, the driveway was too steep and the car was lowered. Oh, and, no. Uh, so so you're like, on yeah, total sure, I'll move it in. You're on autopilot. I'll move it in. I was, yeah, I was just trying to be helpful. I was, I think I was in between like a sleep deprived recording or something. So I was just going out. I was trying to be real quick and, and run back in so I could keep recording. I got in the car, turned it on, drove it. The second I hit the driveway, <laughs> Oh fuck! And there's three people watching me. They're, they are their job is to clean this vehicle. Did they all go <laughs> like make no? It... Yep, yep. And they're like, "Holy fuck! Like this guy is this guy fucking stupid?" And I'm like, "Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! I'm just gonna move it back out, guys. Put it in reverse. <laughs> it hits the it hits the road. The front bumper." is hanging off of the vehicle no dude yep when yep. was this this was this was uh less than a year ago man. oh my god i've never heard about this before that no sucks. no it's because it's one of those moments where like you piss your pants and you don't want to tell anybody about it this was fucking embarrassing oh, dude. Shit. these people were here to make this car perfect and i fucking oh, wrecked no. it right in front of them and they and they legitimately said to me you still want us to work on that one? And I was like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, guys, I got to go back in. I gotta, I'm doing a recording right now. Oh, no. That oh. sucks. I'm sorry that happened, man. That that fucking yeah. blows. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have that car anymore. That's a, that's a pretty good embarrassing story, though. I mean, that's like just an unfortunate. Because I, I get where you probably were at, where you were just like, you just went yep. on on. And also, I should also say, we've been a little bit mean to the people who've said their embarrassing stories, but obviously, most of the time, it, it, you can relate. Everyone's had an yeah. embarrassing story, you know? Of course. But I can imagine how you were like, if you were in between recordings, you were just totally on autopilot and you just didn't think about it. Damn. Yep. Uh, mine isn't... I, I, the, I hadn't... I might have a more embarrassing one. I surely have a more embarrassing one. But there was this one time that I was in class for i think it was like it must have been like a history or a financial class when i was going to ithaca and we were in like a review session for um for this class and we were talking about like oh what's going to be on the test what's going to be there and i remember raising my hand to ask a question and i basically asked the teacher i was like so are are these questions like there's, I was asking about a certain type of question and I basically asked if this question was going to be on there or was the more trivial questions going to be on there. And he get, was confused as you were, Schlatt, where he was like, trivial? And I was like, yeah. 
and there was some confusion between us and then we kind of moved on and then I went and I looked up the word trivial. I had misunderstood what the word trivial was. Oh, shit. So I asked the teacher if there were going to be useless questions <laughs> yeah. on the test to his face yeah. during a review session with everyone in the class. And Perfect. I had to just kind of walk it off. And no one said anything. No one said anything. It was just like, it was a classic college class where every, half the people are oh. like, half the people yeah. are like barely yeah. awake. And like, mm -hmm. and everyone's just silent. Everyone looks miserable. And I just said, told the teacher to his face that some of the questions would be useless. What were you trying to say? I don't remember. I don't remember what I was trying to say. I was Fuck. like, I, I like, trivial. It, it was like, I just, in that moment, it was like, I used the word trivial. And I was like, I just didn't use it correctly. And I don't yeah. know what, because I know the meaning of the word trivial now, but for some reason, I think I had like a, like a different understanding of what that word meant at the time right. and I just yeah. totally was it was like unintentionally like an asshole towards this teacher now you're trivial Ted yeah trivial Ted trivial I Ted mean, I'm sure everyone has like one or two words that can, like for some reason through some lapse of judgment or just some dumb moment like be it changed to mean whatever the mistake was yeah like you know you'll you'll say something wrong once and then your friends will just start using that pronunciation yeah. of yeah. it you know I, I, it's, I, it happens yeah so that's that's one of my embarrassing little moments tucker do you have one that you want to share uh sure so my embarrassing moment well, i'll tell like a little story so i was 19 and so it's 2017 and i was texting a girl uh and w we were i was i didn't live near her so we planned a Ted. You're actually in the story too. I had planned a wow. date, a first date. Uh, oh, like I know the month, story. Month plus in advance, uh, two months maybe out that we were gonna meet up before Christmas when I was coming back to the East Coast, and it was planned out. It was gonna be this romantic night and whatever. Uh, and I showed up on the brink of the probably the worst stomach bug I've ever had. And Shit. we were in New York City in Manhattan and we were going to the Christmas market and doing all this stuff. And I'm like intermittently throwing up on the street Fuck. and just in rough shape and just doing my best to like stomach it. And, and but I like the worst stomach bug. So and I meet her family and I'm like trying to be pleasant. I'm sitting there like dying on the inside like. I'm just like counting down until I can leave. And then uh, she ends up getting it. This is brand new girl I meet. Uh, first date. She gets sick for the rest of her Christmas break. Oh, and she's thrown up. And her family knows dude. that I gave it to her. And then that night, I I leave her. And I Ted's happens to be in New York City at the time. And he's picking me up. And we're both going back to Mass. And we share Chinese and I'm feeling okay at that point. I'm like, okay, maybe it's the nerves are off or whatever, but we share a meal. Ted gets the stomach. Bug. Yeah. I wake up on Christmas morning <laughs> with that stomach bug. <laughs> so by Christmas, I'm feeling great. Ted and my new girlfriend are both texting me. Like I am so sick. I'm throwing up everywhere. <laughs> it only lasted a day for me. That stomach bug. It was just on Christmas. I was at, I was knocked out, but on Christmas I was knocked out. Yeah. yeah that sucks. So was Emma. But now, now we're married. Wow. So I think she was it into it. There's something about it. Wow. I don't know. Yeah. Nice, dude. Dude, I remember that. I was like, Tucker Tucker was telling me about how he had to keep going into like fucking back alleys to throw up. Yeah. Throwing up on the street on my first date with my now wife was probably the most embarrassing thing. Damn. Wow. Well, look at us. Look at us. We've all had our moments. Yeah. We're just like We've you. We've all had it. We're, we're <laughs> just like you. Except a little bit more wealthy. <laughs> well, Tucker's a working man. Tucker's a working man. A student, um, perhaps. And a student as well, who almost didn't fucking get his classes he needed to finish school, oh, but then yeah. he did. He was stressed yeah, if about that. Class registration. If your time ticket sucks and you run into problems, show up at your advisor's door at 8 a.m. Um, and be waiting for them when they show up to work so you can immediately go in and demand they help you. Because they will. <laughs> there you go. They will. 
Damn. They have to. <laughs> Damn, dude. As that was my week this week. Yeah, I want to hear more about that after the podcast. But uh, thanks, Chucklers, so much. Um, do we? Do we? Oh yeah, we have a. We have something. Another that we, prompt. A new prompt. Our next thing for you, Chucklers, out there is we're going to do a little bit of a mixture this time between the speak pipes and another category of chuckle sandwich episodes you guys seem to know and love and that is would you rather please go to speakpipe.com slash chuckle sandwich and submit us your most devious most diabolical most treacherous most trivial would you rathers that you can think of and we and well, Tucker will look listen to them, and he'll determine which ones are good. And then we will listen to the best ones on the next Speak Pipe episode. Pipe you later. See you later, Chucklers.